Hey guys, my name is Chetan Ashnuri and today we are going to review the Hyper ROM version 3 for the Galaxy S3 i9300. So, first of all, when you install the ROM, you get the notification that the super user binary needs to be updated. So, that's not a problem because I made a video about it earlier. So, the link to that video will be in the description. The process is really simple for updating the super user binary. So, first of all, let's get into settings and the first thing you notice in the settings is that uh, the first settings that comes up are the hyper tools not the connections so first of all let's get into ac mods and these are the customizable features for your rom and as you can see that the left top corner of the your screen can act as a recent task key like this and if you press the top left corner of your phone uh, it will work as a recent task key and you can also have the center area work as the home key and the right uh, top corner also works as lock screen like this and you can also speed up the display and you also have a feature that is called speed display colors and I really don't know how it works so let's get out of it and you also have a feature called dual speed display so it increases the display refresh rate and you also have a display day option and you also have a option to display AM or PM let's uh, hide that and you also can change the time display position you can also have set the text color you have many settings over here you can add applications to the ultra power saving mode and let's get out of it and you also have the toolbox that comes with the samsung phones and you can you also have the edge screen settings over here you can turn it on and off from here you have the people's edge you have the apps edge and let's get into auto starts you can set applications that are allowed to be auto restarted and let's just turn off the briefing and you also have the LED indicator settings over here which you can change according to your needs and you also have the greenify you have to choose it in the installer so greenify is a very helpful app for just managing your phone and you also have Viper for Android FX uh, which I chose in the installer and I think it's the best uh, app for the modulation you also have the exposed framework over here you have the smart manager and these are the different connection settings which come with this ROM they are the basic from the Samsung I think and it does have the download booster I let's get into sound and nothing special over here you do have uh, music effect so I'm gonna select it to wiper for Android and let's get into display and wallpapers you can turn on the add some notification you can turn on and off the flashlight and you have different wallpapers over here as well all the wallpapers are from the S7 and you also have the time torch timeout settings over here uh, you can set up the lock screen and you have many unlock effect right over here let's check the ink in water I really like it and so you can also have the show information uh, settings over here you can have the owner information over here you have the pedometer and all you also have the charging effects which I personally don't use you also have the theme store from the Samsung and you also have the festival effect which I don't use so you also have the multi window the floating messages and you also have the notification panel motion and gestures from the Samsung and you also have the account settings over here you can set up the Google or server account over here and you also have the backup and reset settings over here you can turn your phone into easy mode and and accessibilities you have you can turn on the greenify from here and you will scroll into vision and the dark screen is not working right now and you can also turn on speak passwords you can set up uh, magnification gestures 
so you also have the notification reminder you have hover zoom device just uh, stopped responding let's go into accessibilities and let's get into hearing and let's turn on the flash notifications I always use the flash notifications and you also have the direct access settings over here and you also have the blocking mode uh, which is really nice and you have many settings over here you have safety assistance uh, and you can set up a primary contact over here you can turn on the emergency mode and you can set up the geo news you can also turn on send help messages and you also have the battery modes over here you can turn on the power saving mode you can restrict the background data you can restrict performances you can restrict the ECP performance, screen output, turn off touch key light, turn off GPS and all. You also have the grayscale mode over here. Which turns your phone into black and white. And let's get out of it and let's get into ultra power saving mode. So the ultra power saving mode comes in very handy. I remember using my Galaxy S4 for 5 hours with only 10% battery with the ultra power saving mode on in another custom room so it comes in very handy so you have fast charging but I don't think it works let's get into security and the basic security settings over here so let's get into about device and as you can see that the android version is 4.4.4 .4, that's kitkat and let's uh, check easter egg but easter egg comes from the marshmallow and you also have the marshmallow game over here which i am really bad at let's get out of it and you also have the application managers and you also have the permission manager which you can change the permission you give to apps and I think that's it for the setting let's get into apps now and this is the phone app and, uh, this is uh, themed with the Galaxy S7 look and this is the contacts app the phone is now starting to slow down a little bit so let's clear the RAM let's turn these off so let's get into AC mods once and see if we can speed up the display yeah so it's much better now so let's get into messages and again theme like the S7 and let's get into internet app of course the Samsung browser over here the device is lagging a little bit and the phone is really hot right now it's getting hotter and hotter so let's get into gallery app so this is the gallery app and you can also set it view by uh, time or the albums so let's get out of it and let's get into camera app and this is the camera app it's the s3 camera app but theme like the galaxy s7 you can set up the flash settings over here you can also set the shooting mode over here you have a lot of shooting modes there are different filters over here as well and you also have the settings over here and you can also toggle this to the video camera and let's get into music app the music app actually is a little bit different from the galaxy s7 and you also have video player over here and let's get into clock app which looks little like the galaxy s7 and you have the 
as planner as well it shows the holidays as well and you have the S note over here so a nice app you can say let's just start it and get out of it so let's get into calculator app this is a little bit like the galaxy s7 not a whole lot and you also have the my files over here which looks like the galaxy s7 galaxy s6 note 4 note 5 and all and you also have the watch card over here I don't know why but the device is lagging a lot now let's just try to clear something up let's get into smart man it's lagging a lot now the RAM usage is, is up to 83% let's clean it and the RAM usage is down to 70% now but the device is still lagging let me just quickly restart the device maybe that will fix it so restarting does make the lag a little better but I think the version 2 was much more stable than this version so let's get into voice recorder which is a little bit like the S7 and you also have the download application right over here you have the edge screen settings right over here you also have the greenify the marshmallow game right over here and you also have the memo uh, which I installed you have to choose that in your installer and I think that's it with the settings uh, let's see the widgets and all so you can set up the widgets right over here and and you also have the home screen settings right over here and you can change the transition effect uh, from card stack to 3 duration or none as well and you also can disable the flipboard briefing this uh, ROM does come with a flipboard briefing but I really don't use it and you also have a uh, themes options right over here and the ROM is fluent but not as fluent as the version 2, version 2 was much more fluidic and uh, much more fluent than the version 3. I would still recommend uh, using the Hyper ROM version 2 as your daily driver if you are use this ROM. So I think that's it guys, thanks for watching.